Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix that type of error uh, using, uh, it's related to Microsoft or SQL Server Management Studio. When you save, uh, uh, after any changes in the table, uh, that, that's like that, uh, that error will be occurred and that warning message will be occurred, save changes is not permitted. The changes you have made require the following tables to be dropped and recreated. You have either made changes to the table that can't be recreated or enabled the options prevent saving changes that require the table to be created. So uh, only we have some options like save text file and the cancel. And what is the error and what uh, the symptoms of that error? When you try to save a table after making changes to the table using designer in SQL Server Management Studio, you may receive the following error like that. Uh, saving changes is not permitted. The changes that you made require the following table to be dropped or recreated. You have either made changes to a table that can't be recreated. So, uh, the problem occurs when you make one or more following changes to the table. You change the allow null settings for a columns. Only changes for the null settings like that. You uh, reorder columns in the table. Reorder like that city uh, just I want to set uh, here. So reorder, you changes the column data types like that and you add a new column right here and you change the file group of a table or it's a text or image data. But if you uh, set primary key or any other uh, data related to your primary key like that, uh, that is the identity specification that is automatically incremented by one. So uh, that's not allowed. So uh, that type of error message will occurs due to this line. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to remove that type of error and fix that type of error, just go for the tools option and here we have a options. In the options uh, panel, you can uh, select the designer tab right here in the left panel and select table and database designer. In the table and database de designer, we have a checkbox prevent saving changes that require that table recreation. So just un, uh, uncheck that and click to OK button. After that, just save this table again and you will see that your problem will be resolved easily. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and SQL Server. Thank you very much.